The third district runs up the coast from Solana Beach to Encinitas and up the 15 all the way from the 8 to the once reliably Republican Escondido. It's a wonderful place to grow up, to live. Robin Fox runs the Escondido History Center. It's really changed over the years, but um, for many years it was really a small town. The one small farm town is now an expanding bedroom community. As of December, Escondido had a thousand more registered Democrats than Republicans, making it still the most competitive community in the third district. The district itself is seen as the best chance for Republicans to continue their generation-long control of the County Board of Supervisors, a run made more difficult by the changing demographics of San Diego County. Kristen Gaspar is the Republican incumbent. She declined to participate in KPBS's piece on the third district race. Gaspar is a businesswoman. Four years ago, she defeated the Democratic incumbent. Then she ran for the congressional seat held by Daryl Issa. She lost. During the last four years, Gaspar has taken stances that may seem out of step with her district. She appeared at a White House event last year with President Trump supporting expanding the border wall and voting to support the president's lawsuit against California's law limiting cooperation with federal immigration authorities. There are two Democrats challenging Gaspar, Olga Diaz and Tara Lawson Reamer. Diaz was the first Latina elected to the Escondido City Council. She laid out her top three priorities. The three things that have resonated in this campaign have been solving homelessness, chronic homelessness, I want to work on that, climate change, the county has a climate action plan that has been legally uh, deficient uh, twice in courts, it's been thrown out, we really need to overhaul our climate action plan to meet greenhouse gas emission uh, standards, and uh, housing in general. Um, we talked about affordable housing, we never really talk about high-end housing, that end of the market takes care of itself, but creating opportunity for entry-level or workforce housing uh, that uh, people that do have an income, they just it's not enough to buy the $800,000 starter home. Diaz says solving homelessness isn't necessarily about finding more money. Maybe more money, we have a large surplus, but also a, a reevaluation of how we're spending the money now to focus on the core values and solutions. I really believe we need more social workers with a reasonable caseload. Uh, imagine if you had to help two or three or 400 people Diaz also wants to modernize county services, in part to encourage developers to build in more dense urban areas. Lawson Reamer is an economist and former member of the Obama administration. She founded the Flip the 49th campaign that ended with Democrat Mike Levin being elected to Congress. This is her first time running for office herself. I believe that we should be at the forefront with a bold climate action plan that is the best in the country, maybe the best in the world, that we should be leading the charge on that and not uh, chasing our tails um, and certainly not paying out uh, taxpayer money to do nothing, which is what we've been doing so far. I think we need to take bold action to protect our beaches and our coastlines, which is part of what makes San Diego such a special place to, to live and raise a family. Um, we have to take bold action on affordable housing. We need to tackle our traffic and congestion crisis and the urban sprawl that has led to people spending so many of their own hours idling in traffic. The county's climate action plan has been challenged repeatedly in court. Austin Reamer's more aggressive approach includes requiring developers to have any carbon offset to be inside San Diego County rather than buying credits from anywhere in the world. And on homelessness, Lost and Reamer wants to target services where people live. I definitely think we need a housing first approach with wraparound services. So that does mean more beds and does mean more shelter beds. But more than anything, it means making sure that when we have shelters, including those that already exist, we're providing really accessible services for homeless, uh, our homeless population to get the support that they need to get back on their feet instead of having to run all over town. The top two vote getters in the March primary move on to the general election. Steve Walsh, KPBS News.